Hello everyone, this is Tatiana, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any of these fun videos. Today we're going to be doing a super pretty and soft design that is actually quite easy to accomplish. I've filed down the old coating to our base, and now I'm just going to clean up the length around the free edges. There was no lifting on these nails, so it wasn't difficult at all taking off the coating. As you can see after taking off the gel polish with a nail file, the base is still there. But now the nails look really nice and neat. Further, I'm filing the nails down into a more oval shape with my nail file, and then passing through lightly on top in order to take down any unevenness from the nail trail. This way the base coat will go on smoother and easily. Here we're just pushing back the cuticle, and then with our diamond bit for our nail drill, we're cleaning up the corners. Even though we're working with the red bit, which is a finer tip, it still cleans up great. I've mentioned in my other videos before how much I like this bit. It's more rounded, and it has a safety tip. With a duller bit, I probably would have already been finished, but what I love about this one here is its thick body, and additionally, you can work sideways with it by the skin. For cutting the cuticle, I'm using these thin scissors. The most important thing for me when I'm cutting the cuticle is the length of the blades and a good tip on the end. This gives it a really accurate cut. After having cleaned up from any dust and using a dehydrator, I'll be applying an acid-free primer. Now we're putting on the base coat lightly because most of the original base is still on the nails, so we just need to even out the rest of the area. So there's no reason to put this on thick. Thank you. 
Today I'll be using two different kinds of colors, this beige and a white. Each one will need two layers, although the beige, even with its thin brush, evened out nicely and didn't leave any streaks. The white polish, on the other hand, wasn't the thickest, but once we go over this again with the second layer, it'll turn out just fine. For the mirror finish today, we'll be using a top coat without a sticky finish. You can use any, but I'm using one with a high gloss. After that, we're drying everything under the lamp at 48 watts for 40 seconds. On the dry finish, I'm using this beautiful glitter right here. The packaging called this color glass, but I think unicorn is a bit more suitable of a name. It's just so full of color. Sometimes when you're using an eyeshadow sponge, it'll leave some empty spots here and there, so make sure you really distribute the glitter, even in those tight to reach areas. majority of the leftover glitter around the nail, etc., you'll need to brush off with a small brush before applying your top coat. I'm going over this top coat twice. Previously, I went through uh, with a buffer on the tips. This second layer here I'm putting on for strength, because the glass finish could roll back from the edges and thus not be sealed. On the white backing, I'm using a gel paste on top and drawing my design. This gel paste has lasted me so long, I mean, there's really no telling how much I've used this. Here I'm just going to be drawing some dainty curved lines. You could also draw maybe some branches or a monogram design on this kind of look would be really cute. After that gel paste is dried, I'm not going to be covering it in anything. It has a non-sticky coating and doesn't require anything else. After this, you can wash your hands just to clean everything up, and you're good to go. This turned out so pretty, I'm really happy with this look. That mirror finish is just stunning. It definitely grabs your eyes, and this will shine so beautifully out in the sun. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a huge thumbs up, and until next time.